almost dropped her. Say hi, Kiara. Hi. You guys, she follows me everywhere. I love this dog. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new here. So today I'm going to be doing another tutorial using the Bloodlust palette by Jeffree Star. And I was actually on YouTube. I came across this uh, girl. Her name is Leslie Marie and she did like the most beautiful girly eye makeup look using this palette. And I was just like, oh my god, I need to do that like that is exactly what I had in mind and I was just like ugh, I have to so obviously my creds go to Leslie Marie however I did see a lot of makeup posts with very very similar eye looks so I don't really know who to give credit to but I do know that I was personally inspired by Leslie Marie so I'm just gonna link her YouTube down below so yeah if you want to see me create a cute girly makeup look Using this palette, just keep on watching. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna wanna see me open it up, so I'm just gonna, you know, open it up. Isn't she lovely? Damn. I'm really excited to try these two shades today these two because these are the new formula that jeffree star just came out with of course i have not tried any other palette this is my very first jeffree cosmetics product i'm so excited about it so i don't i can't really compare however i did use this shade um in my previous tutorial so i can kind of obviously compare it to the other shimmer um but yeah but these are the two new formulas and i'm really excited to try them out because they look stunning Okay, so my brows are done, but I'm just going to prep my eyelid using the P. Louise base in the shade 0.5. Um, I'm going to do this off camera just to save some time, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put you guys a little bit closer to me. I'm going to start with the shade Deviant. I'm just going to prep my beauty blender with some setting spray, and I'm just going to go over my P. Louise base. Just to make sure it's all in place. And I'm just going to... I'll start blending it into my crease. I used this shade um, in my last tutorial for my transition shade, if I believe. Um, it is so pigmented, you guys. So, um, it didn't take much for me to blend this shade. Um, you know how usually pastel colors go patchy? And they just look like trash you guys or they sort of like blend away I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if you have tried a pastel palette before um, like you pack it on and then like you blend it and it just that like, goes away and you're kind of like okay but where did it go and you just carry on packing this is not happening at all out of all the shades of this palette I would have literally thought that this one because it's the lightest purple I would have thought that this one is the one that would have done that and it didn't what more can I say? Just get yourself this palette. So now I'm going to dip into Vivid Mood. I'm using the same fluffy brush. This is a crown brush. I don't know what it's called. And the name is not on here anymore. So sorry guys. But um, I'm just going to go over. Like basically just like to intensify uh, Deviant. I've just been feeling purple so much lately, like I just, purple is just such a vibe for me recently, I don't know why, it's just a vibe. Do you like my kitty ears by the way? My friends gave them to me for my birthday, <laughs> hey guys. I hope they're watching, you guys better be watching. <laughs> so I'm just going to intensify. And I'm kind of losing deviance a little bit on this eye. So I'm just going to use the Morphe M443 brush just to pack it on again. And just to blend out the shade Vivid Mood. I just want to 
say there's some kickback on the um, eyeshadow palette, but obviously that is normal, you guys. It's not a big deal as long as it blends. As long as it blends, I'm good. And honestly, so far, I have, like, no fallout on my face. Like, that is crazy. Um, if you watched my last video, you would have seen the fallout disaster that I had, uh, which was my fault, by the way, because I just kept on packing it on and wasn't really being precise with my application. So, um, and yeah, and it was only really one shade. Please go watch my video. Thank you. Now I'm going to dip into the shade Blood Queen, which is this one over here. I'm just going to add this to my outer corner to deepen it. I'm going to cut my crease, so I'm not going to focus it too much on the inner part of my eye. And then I'm blending it with the Morphe brush. Such cute shades to put together, to be honest. Okay, so I'm just going to continue packing on the Blood Queen shade to my outer corner, just to deepen the look up a little bit. Um, I did find that it wasn't really working too well with this brush, so I switched it to the Morphe. I'm just going to pack on again. And just blend it very slowly, not with a lot of pressure to my inner corner. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to cut my crease using the P. Louise base in the shade 0, which is just the white one. Okay guys, now that my crease is cut, I'm just going to go into the shade Pink Magic. I'm going to use the same brush that I used to cut my crease. Um, it's just a really flat concealer brush. This is the one from Dose of Colors. And I'm not going to wet the eyeshadow yet. I just want to see how it um, performs on its own. It looks really vibrant, so let's see. I'm just going to pat this. I hope it works with the P. Louise, but we'll see. And I'm going to place this on the outer it looks really pretty however I usually always wet my shimmers so I'm gonna apply this I'm gonna take it on my brush and I'm just gonna wet it with some setting spray just because I want to see what it can do let's see That is so much better, you guys. What? It's crazy. I'm just going to clean it off. And I'm going to use the same brush once again to get Wet Jewel. This is what it looks like without setting spray or anything. How do people not wet? Oh girl, she is so cute. It kind of looks like real glitter, but it's not. And I love that he did like a light pink and then a darker pink. Sort of like he already knew that we were going to do like a transition. Because like right now, it's looking like it's just transitioning. Like they blend together so beautifully. And I'm just like, take my money. Like you can have it, you know. Um, What I did find as well is you can also pack these um on. So if you're not happy with the intensity, you can just keep packing it on and they layer beautifully as well. Sometimes when you swatch or even pick up quite a bit of shimmers, some of them do crumble. Um, it's supposed to be normal. It annoys some people. To me, it's kind of like whatever, you know, as long as it looks good on the eye. Um, and it can crumble on your eye. I didn't find that at all. Some eyeshadows don't do well with setting them. So like I've used shimmers before and then I've set them and just... They just sort of like became like too foily and like cakey and stuff like that. Um, That's also not happening. So I'm just going to do the other eye. Oh, I'm so obsessed. I feel like a little princess, you guys. But now that that's done, I'm just going to use my Morphe M433 brush again. And I'm just going to go back into the shade Blood Queen. 
just to diffuse the line between the shimmer and the purple. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and then I'm going to go back to my eyes. So I'm just going to tone my face using the Herbalife Skin Herbal Toner. Just like that. And I'm just going to wipe it all over my face. So once that is done, see all the fallout, you guys. There actually isn't much, to be honest. I'm like such a proud mom to Jeffrey. I'm like, you like you go. Like I'm like so proud and he doesn't even know I exist. <laughs> Anyway, before I make myself cry. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Chicks Cosmetics Dewy Face Serum. Oh, it's so cold, you guys. You guys, if you see my hair is growing like over here, I'm so sorry. It is because I'm doing a 12-week challenge for my eyebrows. I'm trying not to like pluck them or touch them or reshape them just because I'm trying to grow them out. So I can try to do the soap brow thing. Like I just feel like my brows are just a little bit too shaped. I don't know. I just I just don't see how my brows are gonna be able to stand up. But um, I'm trying to grow them out so I can reshape them a little bit and then try to do the soap brow thing because I feel like I'm missing out because everyone's doing it. Next, I'm gonna go in with the professional, just the original professional. Forgot how smooth this makes your face feel. Wow. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the Max Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC15, and I'm gonna mix it with the Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW10. And yes, this is a sample. Um, I just find that the NC15 is just a little bit too dark for me, so I got a sample of NW10 and I mix them together. This is honestly one of like the best foundations that I've tried, to be honest. And I have quite dry skin. And it hasn't like, I look like I have no lips. <laughs> like I just love this foundation. Now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Define and Conceal Concealer in the shade C1. I'm just going to let that set in for like a few seconds. Does your brain ever go? I was pulling him. He was pulling me. I was pulling him. He was pulling me. And, um, and, um, next I'm going to be using my Kangol Throwing Shade Kit, and I'm going to be using the shade that is almost done. I did buy another one of these, if, in case you guys are wondering. I just feel like because the others are so full, I'm just not ready to throw this one away. Now I'm just going to set that in place with the Huda Bronzer by Benefit. For blush, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I forgot to mention that I did set my under eye with the Laura Mercier Powder. My new favorite powder, you guys. I cannot use another one. It's time for highlighter. And I was kind of thinking that this one, the Wet Jewel, could totally go for a highlighter, right? Like, that can totally work as a highlighter. Go off. Okay, girl. You guys, I have not seen anyone do this in the review of this palette. Why? This literally works as a highlighter. I'm going to add that same shade to my brow bone. Oh, okay, girl. I'm going to add the P. Louise base in the shade 0 0.5 again. And I'm just going to add the tiniest bit to my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I'm just going to go back into the Deviant shade. I'm basically using the exact same shades that I used on my eyelid. Going into this shade. And now I'm going to go back into the shade Blood Queen. I'm just going to add this shade to the outer corner going halfway in. Not my whole bottom lash line. Now I'm going to go back into the shade Wet Jewel and I'm going to add it to my inner corner and sort of drag it down to my lower lash line. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put on some lashes and lipstick and I'll be right back. Hey 
guys, okay, so I'm back and I just applied my lashes and my lipstick and this is the final look. And I just wanted to show you guys how this highlighter looks. Let me see if I can get closer. How this highlighter looks. Um, sorry, this eyeshadow performing as a highlighter, you guys. Like, I don't know if Jeffrey intended for us to use it as a highlighter, but wow, I'm like loving it. Also, I'm sorry if I'm getting darker. It is nighttime now, so I'm so sorry if the lighting changed. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. I would totally love to film them. Overall, please get yourself this palette if you do not have it. You literally need it, you guys. It is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would mean the world to me. Please also follow me on Instagram at 2 spanish 21 and on TikTok. I forgot to mention as well that this palette is the third palette from the um, Jeffree Star Blood Collection. So it was first Blood Sugar, Blue Blood, and now Blood Lust. I don't know if there's going to be another one. We'll see next year. Um, but I'm just so happy with this, really, you guys. Jeffree did the thing. See you guys in my next video. Ciao.